So for today's Functional Friday, what you'll be needing is one to two dumbbells or weighted devices of some kind, whether they be paint cans, water bottles, uh, cans of vegetables, whatever you have. So today we're gonna to be doing all single-legged movements. So we're gonna start here with an overhead press. I recommend four sets of this, so you have two sets on each leg. Um, if not, you wanna do three sets, that's great. Stick with the first round on one leg, the second round on the other leg, and the third round on either. You can switch halfway. So you're gonna start here. The goal of single leg exercises is to complete the movement without breaking form too much. So you see my knee is lean way off to the side as I lost balance. You wanna keep that knee in line with the foot the whole time, okay? So you're here, your core's engaged, pushing up, okay? Now you'll see my ankle move a little bit, that's okay, that's just me trying to stay balanced, that's my body trying to balance me. And then once that knee goes, once that knee goes, you know that you know the body isn't much further past that, right? The knee's a pretty fixed joint, straight is really all it's supposed to move. It can move side to side, but it's supposed to be more stable, not too much side to side movement occurring at the knee, mostly at the hip, okay? So after you do your overhead presses, we're gonna go into single leg rows, so you're gonna hinge forward, at the hips, as flat as you can get, maybe just above parallel. Scrape your elbows along the sides, squeeze. Okay, good. Now, you saw how as I moved my head, I lost my balance the next second. You wanna keep your head nice and straight, maybe even fixed on one solid point in the room. Um, great way to do it, okay? So next, what we're gonna have you do is put down the weights and we're gonna work on some single leg squats okay so you're gonna start here you're just gonna hinge your hips back as low as you can go and stand up okay squeezing the glute totally at the top okay so you'll see some people they swing their leg back and then through like a pistol squat that's great if you can't do that just work on slowly sitting back okay if you can go through the full range of motion and really get down there that's great Okay, the goal here is to keep your head up and your chest up. You saw my back round out a little bit. Try to avoid that if you can. Um, if you can't, that's fine. Just deload the movement a little bit and work on good form. Uh, after you do your pistol squats, we're gonna go ahead into single leg deadlifts. I'm gonna come back over here, grab my weight. I'm gonna go opposite hand, opposite foot, okay? So head up, chest up, nice and tall, core is engaged, ribs are down. I'm gonna slide this weight along the leg, tap the toe, not with the weight, stand all the way up. Slide the weight back, stand all the way up. Okay, and that's it. So that's your deadlift. You got your single leg squat, you have your single leg overhead press, you have your single leg row. And the last, the last exercise we're gonna do is actually a single leg step up. Okay, so you're gonna start here. Weight can rest either on your shoulder, over your head, or by your sides, totally up to you. You're gonna step up with one leg, okay? Pull your toe up off the ground, okay? And you're gonna drive that leg through the box, and then you're gonna hold it, and then you're gonna slowly lower. Lift the toe up, and then land it, okay? So again, pulling that toe up off the ground will help you trip over the bench like I just did. Pulling the toe up off the ground will also help you isolate the muscles in your left foot, okay? So a lot of people, when they do these step ups, they drive through the toe, stand all the way up, okay? That's helping out a lot. That's slightly um, challenging to the calf so much so that you don't feel it, but it greatly reduces the impact on the quad, okay? So if I pull this left toe up, even if I'm side by side, right, in that, in that optimal position, I can drive through, and that really puts a lot of strain on my quads. I feel that a lot, okay? So again, let's go eight to 12 reps here, either side, two sets per side for a total of four sets, okay? Have a good day, everyone. Thanks for joining me on this stability-based functional Friday, and we'll see you around the clubhouse.